I'm out here in New York today trying to finish up this video. This is my cousin CJ, don't mind him, he's just working. Um, we're both trying to get our stuff done, so this is why we have like this new background here. All the photos taken today were shot on a tripod using a self timer and all settings were set to full auto. The first thing I notice is how the Pixel gives off a more vivid shot than the iPhone 7. By vivid, I mean a more richer, fuller color. So if you look at the sky on the Pixel, you could see the more vivid color I'm talking about and the iPhone 7 looks a little more natural or gives off that more natural look. When we split the picture down the middle, that blue becomes more apparent. Both shots come off looking great. It really comes down to personal preference. This second set of shots proves similar. A more natural looking picture with the iPhone 7, a more richer, vivid color with the Pixel. So much so that the iPhone 7 in this shot looks more like a desolate area than on the Pixel. Again, preference comes into play. All of these phones, in my opinion, produce great images, all with its own like distinctive color profile. The iPhone 7 looks the most muted, but also the most natural. The Nexus 6P definitely brings out the blue. And in this particular shot, the iPhone 6S Plus and the Pixel have the most similar color profile. When we're talking about video stabilization in 1080p, I prefer the iPhone 7 Plus over the Pixel XL. The more I use the Pixel, the more unnatural the shift in motion is for me. Again, this is something I'd love to see updated in its software, but only time can tell. There's nothing for me to really complain about the quality of the video itself, and while the stabilization is leaps and bounds better than the 6P, the iPhone 7 does a better job in this department. In 4K, the 7 Plus loses its cinematic video stabilization, which sometimes evens the playing field for the Pixel XL. I did end up doing something a little different for these shots, and what I did is I did a second round of shooting using touch to focus. Here's a shot taken in full auto mode. Now, here's a shot using tap to focus on the jewel sign. Picture looks a lot better. Here's a split shot. And here are the same results with the pixel, also much better using tap to focus. When you compare the 7 and the Pixel, the 7 looks more natural. While the Pixel looks like it shoots in HDR plus mode, still a nice shot, I prefer the more natural look. And here's full auto on the 7 versus tap to focus on the tree, and again with the Pixel and with touch to focus on the tree. Full auto, tap to focus on the sign, full auto, tap to focus on the sign. And when compared to each other, again, deeper blues, richer colors on the Pixel, and a more natural touch on the 7. Pick your favorite. At night, the Pixel leans on a really saturated color profile, even when using tap to focus to control the noise in a picture. The 7 and Pixel are both great cameras. When it comes to photos, the extra punch in color on the Pixel is really pleasing to the eye. The iPhone 7 provides a more natural profile. I think for the user, it does come down to preference. And when we're talking about video, both provide great picture quality, but I still prefer the more natural looking stabilization on the 7 than the Pixel. Hopefully, Google can correct that with a software update. This, <laughs> this is how I do it every time. That's, that's how I do it. <laughs>